YouTube, good morning. What's up? Today, today's a good day. Do you wanna know why today's a good day? Because my power meter is finally getting fixed. It's getting fixed. It's actually getting fixed. I'll get into the details in a little bit, but I'm currently just riding down to the post office. I need to pick up some bubble wrap to make sure it's sent off safely. And I've no idea why I've got a jumper on. I'm sweating bad right now. Very, very, very happy to say that the power meter is now on its way to Germany to be fixed by SRM. Yes, finally, come on. So it turns out the problem was SRM thought they already had my power meter and they thought I was asking them when it was gonna be repaired by. Maybe it was a little cross in translation, who knows? But that's not the main factor here. And the important part is my power meter it's on its way to be fixed and very soon we're gonna have it back. You have no idea how happy I am to say those words. So what we need to do now is put a different crank on temporarily whilst the SRM gets fixed. And also I need to head to the shop to get some new inner tubes because we've run out of inner tubes and yesterday I double punctured. Therefore we need to get some new ones to put on the bike ASAP and I also need more in case I puncture when I'm out riding. And I also think it's important to have a few in your stock just in case you need them. One, two, three, four inner tubes. This should keep me going for a while unless I decide to double puncture again in my next race. Okay, I couldn't find any thorns or anything in the tires, which could have caused them both to puncture. That always kind of makes me a little bit nervous when I put new inner tubes in. I always put new inner tubes in. I never, ever repair the tube. There is a reason behind that. After I replace these tubes, I'll explain a little bit more. So back in my BMX days, when you when you got a puncher, you just put a new inner tube in. The reason you put a new inner tube in and you, you didn't repair it was because, if you can imagine, you're going over these jumps and when you land, you come down pretty hard. So if you uh, get a puncher and you repair that puncher with like a standard patch, the force of that impact when you land will just blow, uh, blow the patch off the tube. So pretty much whenever you got a puncher, you just took that inner tube out, threw it in the bin and you just put a new inner tube in that tire. And then when I came to road cycling, I just, kind of carried on that mentality. Whenever I get a puncher and then like repair that puncher with, you know, a puncher repair kit, I just don't have the trust in the wheel that I would do if, if there was a new inner tube in. It's kind of like a psychological thing that I've taken across from my BMX days that I just can't get rid of. So for the peace of mind sake more than anything, when I get a puncher, I just take that inner tube out, throw it away and put a brand new, a brand new inner tube in. And then I know mentally in my mind, it's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna have a patch blowout. It's gonna be okay. Which it probably will be anyway if I do patch the tire, but in my brain, it's not okay. It's a weird thing to understand. So my sister, as you know, was away racing in Belgium over the weekend. Unfortunately, uh, she went out in the semi-finals both days. It was, it was very, very close. But anyway, she brought me back this uh, nut. Well, it's called Bar Nut. It's called Bar Nugget ten Tender, which I'm guessing means nut. Uh, a nut nugget. I've never had nugget. Am I saying it right? Is it nugget before? So let's open it and try it. Straight from Belgium, nut, nugget, nougat. It's quite a weird taste. Like, I wouldn't say it's nice, but I also wouldn't say it's horrible. I don't even know how to explain this. I 
I've just been I've just been reading through the comments of yesterday's vlog and a few people are telling me that I need to to change my tires I need to go back to Continental uh, GP 4000s which I was currently running well which I was running before I made the switch to the Michelin tires some other people said that I need to start running tubulars for racing as opposed to clinches and I just think it was bad luck in general I was speaking to about four or five guys after the race who'd also punctured and we all punctured on the same part of the course. It was like a country lane, it was, it was really gravelly, very uneven road surface. So I think that was just a hot spot for punchers. The fact that so many people punctured and the fact that they punctured in the same place. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just gonna put it down to bad luck for this one and look, I'm really getting on well with the Michelin tires like up until that race, I hadn't punctured on them. They grip really well, they roll really well. So for the time being, I'm gonna stick with the Michelin tires and just see how we get on with them. I'm convinced that was just pure bad luck what, what happened yesterday. But uh, yeah, GP4000s are great tires. I, I ran those all of last season and yeah, they're also amazing tires but that's going to be the end of today's video i am very tired so i'm going to cut the vlog short and head off to bed but thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please drop a thumbs up and as always guys i'll see you tomorrow